After printing the two pieces, make sure you cut them so that they fit. So here is the first piece, the servo holder, which the servo sits in. It was a little too narrow, so I had to shave off the insides to make it fit. The other piece was the pinion gear. Make sure that it fits onto the axle that is um, powered by the engine here. And after that, we can start connecting all the electronic components and make sure that they generally work. So as a quick overview, this is the receiver. It receives signals from the transmitter. The transmitter is the one, of course, that we want to play with at the end. Steering and uh, throttle and all that. This is the battery that supplies the power to the entire circuit. This is the speed controller which from the battery powers the receiver in turn the servo and the engine to make everything move so the most complicated part is probably hooking up this receiver and I've included a lot of resources in the video description so you can check out the details the main thing to note is that the servo connector goes into channel 1 the speed controller goes into channel 2 and the polarity is listed right on the label uh, plus and minus red is plus and brown and black is negative so just stick them that way in and setting up the connection between the receiver and the transmitter you use this third cable called the bind cable and put it into channel 3 and by pressing a couple buttons over here you can get them to connect and there's a better video for that I've included in the description everything else just connects um, the only way they connect a lot of these are color coded and there's only one weird cable that connects with the battery here so let's give it a shot now and this is all after we binded the transmitter and the receiver turn it on The fan spins pretty pretty fast, which is a little worrisome. We'll see how that goes, but So now let's turn on the transmitter. Let's give it a little throttle. You can see the pinion gears moving. That's going to connect to the bigger gear that powers the rear axle and moves the wheels. Now let's move steering and we can see the servo is moving. So it looks like everything is hooked up. After you've connected the circuit of the motor, the speed controller, the battery, the receiver and the servo and the transmitter together, it's time to actually put it onto the chassis and make sure it works. First stop is the servo, and here I've put the servo holder with the white bar on top, pressing the servo down, and there are two screws underneath, the three millimeter screws. And then what I did was I got some of this assorted, assorted music wire from the hardware store, and I used a plastic part that came with a servo that looks like a single clock hand and put the music wire through it. Next up is the pinion gear and the motor and for this I also grabbed some 12 millimeter long screws at the hardware store so I could mount the engine into the two holes provided. I actually took apart most of the assembly so that I could make sure to clean the burrs and any friction so it moves freely. And so with that, let's give it a test. So first, let's turn on everything via the speed controller. Two beep tones, that sounds good. Now let's try moving the wheels. Seems to work well. And now let's try the motor, which is which gets pretty loud.
Maybe because the gears aren't uh, too cleanly printed. But that seems to work well. So now we're going to put the chassis back together and fit all these components into this main area here. Putting back the body onto the chassis shouldn't be too bad. And once you've got the innards back in, you're pretty much ready to go. Here I put a little napkin here to reduce the vibration in case the fan starts hitting the battery or the wires behind it. And I've also tried to route the wires away from the fan. You don't want anything to get um, stuck in there. And that's about it. Let's give it one final test. And maybe for this switch I might put a hole in there somewhere so I don't have to keep opening it. But that's a for a later video. Two beeps, great. Then you can put on the lid. And then you, you'd normally put the clips back on. I won't do that now. And finally I noticed these are really close to the tires. I might have to trim them down. But let's give the throttle a test. Let's try reverse. And I had to reverse the servo via the transmitter because reverse was in response to the throttle so I had to change directions. Let's try the steering which was also reversed and I had to um, configure it via the transmitter to be the opposite. Alright, that's about it. Congratulations, you finished building the OpenRCF1. And congratulations to me for finishing. Uh, I'm going to make a victory video uh, in a separate video, but enjoy your car. Alright, like, comment, subscribe. See you later.